Arrange transport of Arash's personally. I want it done properly. And I heard, as it were, the noise of thunder. One of the four beasts saying, come and see. And I saw, and behold, a white horse. There's a man going round taking names, and he decides who to free and who to blame. Everybody won't be treated all the same. There'll be a golden ladder reaching down when the man comes around. What the hell are you looking at? I want you to tell me about your friend, the man with the apple. Will you partake I don't know. Of that last offer we never met before the job. I swear I didn't even know his name. How did you communicate? On the phones. Everything was anonymous. Nobody knew anybody. And we all had jobs. Hear the trumpets, hear the pipers. One hundred million angels singing. Tell me about these jobs. I've never worked with any of these people before. I was told to be on standby for a 48-hour window. They said I had under four minutes to pull a chip from your neck. Who told you you had four minutes? The people who paid me. How were you paid? Cash. At a drop. Where? It was always a different place. Different locations. They picked me up in an ambulance. I didn't even know where we were going. Against the priest. Till Armageddon, no shalom, no shalom. So you had no knowledge of either the location or target? No. I was surprised it was you. I was just hired to supply the injections and monitor your vital signs. How were you paid? In cash, at the site. What denomination were the bills? He paid in fives and tens. Nothing larger than a 20. I've told you everything. I promise. I know you have. You have such a pretty face. Let him be righteous. And a paramedic. Whoever is filthy, let him be filthy still. What a shame. Listen to the words long written down. When the man comes around. And I heard a voice in the midst of the four beasts. And I looked and behold, a pale horse. And his name that sat on him was Death. And hell followed.